If you thought there were just two genders, think again. There are many more genders beyond just male and female. Watch our video to learn more and hit the red button down below to subscribe to our channel. Gender Fluid those who identify as gender fluid have a shifting gender identity. They do not see themselves as male or female. A gender fluid individual may identify as one or the other sex at any given time through their interest or clothing. But rather than gender identity, this is gender expression. This involves behavior and physical characteristics typically linked to femininity or masculinity. Their sexual identity can be constantly in flux and tends to remain so throughout their lives. By gender. In contrast to gender fluid, a bigender person identifies as either male or female at any given time. They have two sexual identities and will feel and behave like one gender or the other depending on the circumstances at the time. The shifts between genders vary and could last from hours to years. People born with male genitalia and female genitalia both identify as bigender. Gender Nonconforming a gender non-conforming person does not conform to the typical gender-based stereotypes in society. For example, women like pink sparkly things and men like sports and have big muscles. Either by choice or by nature, people who identify as gender non-conforming don't go along with cultural expectations of gender roles. This can also be called gender variance. In the case of transgender individuals, they might identify as gender non-conforming before transitioning. Third, gender. Third gender or third sex is when society or the individuals themselves categorize the person as neither woman nor man. This applies to the trans women of India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan who are known as hijras, and the fa afafin of Samoa who are born male but embody feminine traits as well as masculine. The indigenous Mahu of Hawaii considers it an intermediate state between man and woman. There can also be a fourth or fifth gender like the Diné of southwestern U.S. who acknowledge feminine woman, masculine woman, feminine man, and and masculine man. Two Spirit The two spirit identity amongst Native Americans is also considered to be under the third gender umbrella term. As everything is thought to come from the spirit world, cross dressers, effeminate males, masculine females, transgender, or androgynous individuals are seen as having two spirits a man and a woman. They are seen as doubly blessed and are honored, being considered more spiritually gifted than a feminine female or masculine male. They are often religious leaders. Gender Queer all of the previous identities come under the umbrella term genderqueer. This refers to identities that are outside of gender binary, so those who do not exclusively identify with either male or female. Another term for this is non-binary. Genderqueer individuals may identify with having two or more genders or having no gender, or being beyond gender or moving between genders. In terms of sexual orientation, they may not identify as either heterosexual or homosexual. Cisgender most people who are cisgender probably don't even know the term exists, let alone identify as cisgender. But the term refers to a very common gender identity, which is that the individual feels they are their biological sex. So the gender the person was given at birth matches how they perceive themselves. Their gender identity is the same as their biological sex. A gender. An individual who doesn't have a gender is identified as agender. These individuals' bodies might not match their identity as being genderless. They are often not concerned with their physical sex, but they consider themselves non-gendered. Other terms for this are gender-free and neutral. They may seek to look androgynous and appear neither male nor female. Transgender Individuals who are transgender have a gender identity that doesn't match the one assigned to their physical sex. This umbrella term includes trans women, trans men, cross-dressers, drag kings and queens, and gender queer. It can refer to anyone outside stereotypical gender expectations. Individuals might not see themselves as transgender, but rather the gender they identify with. Intersex According to the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, intersex individuals do not fit the typical definitions for male or female bodies. They are born with variations in chromosomes, hormones, or genitalia that aren't consistent with typical gender characteristics. The previous term hermaphrodite is no longer considered appropriate. Controversially, some intersex children are hormonally or surgically altered to fit more socially acceptable identities. Which genders had you heard of before and which were new to you? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up!